Welcome back to Cooking for Fitness. I'm your host, Chef Johnson. Today we're going to be making a simple meal of sautéed shrimp, sautéed vegetables, and white rice. Stay tuned to see how. Please like, comment, and subscribe. We're going to start with the white rice because it's going to take the longest. So I've already measured out one cup of white rice. We're going to put that into our rice cooker. Then you'll need one and a half cups of water. Here we have one and a half cups of water for our rice. Go ahead and add that water to the rice. Give it a quick mix. For today's meal, I'm actually going to be adding minced garlic. Minced garlic is an easy way to get good flavor in your food. Add one tablespoon of garlic to your white rice, mix, and turn on to cook. Next thing we're going to cook is our steamed fresh vegetables. While our steamed vegetables are cooking in the microwave and our rice is cooking in the rice cooker, let's go ahead and cut up some fresh vegetables such as a orange bell pepper and a fresh onion. Now that we have our onion and our bell pepper ready to be cut, go ahead and cut them up. I like to cut the bottom as well as the top to give you a nice square base to easily just cut down the side of your bell pepper. And just like that, our onion and our bell pepper are cut. Today's meal, we're only using a half bell pepper and a half white onion. As you see here, I have our shrimp that we're going to be sauteing up today. It's already thawed, pre-cooked, so all you have to do is thaw it out and saute it up. You're going to want to turn your pan on to a medium to high heat. Next, you're going to add about a tablespoon of butter to your pan. Don't forget about your rice. As you're preparing everything else, make sure to come back to your rice every now and then and give it a quick stir. This helps to ensure that your rice doesn't burn and doesn't stick to the rice cooker. As your butter begins to melt in the pan, go ahead and add your shrimp to the pan. For today, we're also going to be adding a tablespoon of the minced garlic to our pan of shrimp as well. And just like that, steamed vegetables are now cooked. Our bell peppers cut, our onions are cut, and we're going to mix them all in a pan once the shrimp is done sauteing. As your shrimp gets closer to finishing, add your bell pepper and your onion to the pan. Now 
Make sure to give your mixture a good mix as it's almost complete. At this point, we're just waiting on our rice to finish cooking. We currently have our sautéed shrimp and our sautéed vegetable medley already in the pan, ready to be served. Now that our rice is complete, that concludes our meal. Thank you for watching, and if you haven't already, please like, comment, and subscribe for more.